guys, and welcome back to another renovation episode. <laughs> This is Bronte, she's our bit of a mix. <laughs> she's a border collie, cross Kelpie, cross whatever else she is. We got her from the pound about six years ago. And um, oh! <laughs> uh, she's a bit of clots, <laughs> so she fits in well. She's only got one eye as well. She was just born like a little underdeveloped and she's like the runt of the pack. So she's a little small for her breed, but she's still beautiful. And um, when we got her, they thought she was a Burmese mountain dog, but clearly this thing is not. <laughs> Alright guys, so a little bit more detail about what we're going to put on the roof today. I'll start with the solar panels. We got them from Anaconda, they're KT 200 watt solar panels, which we're going to run in a parallel system on the roof, which basically means we're going to have roughly 20 amps going back into our battery system and the same 12 volt power. For the fans, we got Max Air fans from RV Express. There's 10 settings on them and you can run one as an exhaust fan and one as a normal fan. So we're gonna put one just above the kitchen and one just above the bed. So the kitchen one's obviously gonna suck air out and the one above the bed's gonna blow it in. So we're just on the roof here at the moment. Um, we've taken all the bolts off and we found out that there's a lot of secret flex on the bottom. So we're just using a little Stanley knife to try cut underneath and pop it off, like we have done here. And we've got a couple more to go. Oh, so much for struggling. <laughs> I wanted to make this look like I was professional. Apart from this one. So we got our two 200 watt KT solar panels here. I'm just about to start mounting them. So before I do, just run down to the shop, grab some uh, solar panel mounting kits here, which are basically just gonna run onto the roof. Um, got me Sika Flex, which is gonna hold it in, especially in the corrugation that you get around Australia. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is just mount these ones onto the side of it and eventually get it onto the roof. All right, so very simple little process we're gonna do here. Couple little dabs of Sika Flex on the edges that are going to touch straight onto the panel just to give that extra rigidity, uh, especially over the bumps and everything we're going to get while we're traveling. And the longevity of it's going to be quite a bit better um, with the glue on it. just a little cut there just so you can see around there to get it in and I've just had to move this little mount here over a little bit um, to give it some space to breathe here but this is going to be the layout two solar panels on the side one fan there and I'm going to put the other fan in this hole here we're going to be removing the old little hatch here that came with the fan um, old mate before us likes to use a fair bit of silicone so you can see it up around the edges here which we're going to have to get some standing knives and just got to the tape off. Uh, it'll be a little time consuming but hopefully the hole is the right size and we can just fit our new fan straight into it without having to cut too much. So we've got 
got the existing hatch off, now it's time to put our max air fan on. Um, we've had a little bit of a win, it nearly fits perfectly. We're just going to trim a little bit of this inside off here, um, and then we'll basically just put it straight back in. Should be good. just here um, basically going to do it there just so when we're sitting in our bed um, at night you can sometimes look out and just let a little bit more light in we also have the big window on the other side so we don't think we need another one on that side to fit we're going to squeeze it in here so we're just going to cut a little bit of this section out not too much structural um, the only structural piece should just be this section here but once we put the window back in it should hold its shape a little bit stronger as well so Paige is going to come along with the grinder and cut this little section out for us and then we'll be able to measure it and fit it through there Safety first. Roughly where the window is going to go. No. We're just going to. <laughs> This is why I do one take wonders. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hold this for me. I'll hold the grinder. Uh, there you go. No, you have to. Don't press the button. Yeah, hold on. I'll do it. I look busy. 
All right, so we've just marked out roughly where we're going to put the window here. Uh, what we're going to do is cut a little square out of the center bit because we know that spot's definitely going to be cut out and then just double check our measurements from the inside to make sure we're getting exactly where we want it to be. Paige is going to hold this little bit of plywood up just so we're not going to make too many dents or, um, or burns onto the paint of the van. Um, I'll see how it goes. I'm just smiling at the camera the whole time. <laughs> I don't know that would be. Just going to glue pretty much around the edges here uh, all the way around and get a nice seal and push it on and hold it a bit there till it starts to set and we should be all good. That's a wrap on another video. I hope you guys are enjoying watching us figure out how to renovate. In our next video, we'll be installing our cabinets and latches. Let's see how that goes. If you guys want to see what we're up to now, head on over to our Instagram at travelingparadise underscore.